Hi guys, welcome back to another episode with Dastardly Danny here playing The Wolf Among Us. So far, this game has been provocative, thrilling, and amazing. I can't wait to continue going forward in this game and looking at a dead body. Whoa! So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? I am. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Confidential evidence. Oh, that's a head. Come on. The plot twist is Little Red Riding Hood did make it out alive, and she's out to get me because she has a lot of resentment towards the big bad wolf. That's what makes the most sense. But, whoa! What's it like looking at yourself dead? Wow. Wouldn't the glamour go away after death? I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. You're gonna be okay. You don't have to stay. I want to stay. Okay, I'll, I'll just... be fine. It's just a little strange. Well. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. What is this? You don't have this pin, do you? That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Oh, surprise! <laughs> Looks just like Faith's did. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Swineheart. I would think it would if be the neck wound was the same, there might be a ribbon in her mouth too. Ah, yeah. Anything? Nothing. So, it's not exactly the same. Might use Can this letter later. Her mouth. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I know. It was looking kind of weird. Um Thanks. The sound effects are really good, I, I must say. There's, uh... Is this gonna be the same? Oh, she no. got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. <laughs> also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Is there, is there anything Do you else? see that? Could be a bruise. Or a hickey. Oh, okay. That's it. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Track marks. She used Mundy drugs? Looks that way. Mundy drugs? Pretty heavily. Like too. mundane drugs? I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless. Don't be ridiculous. Hey. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? That could it's also be true. It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? That one would, would assume sense. so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Woohoo! Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Let's look at the buttons then. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... 
What? Snow, do you mind if I uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. <laughs> I gotta look at the body. Ah, huh. it's good to know. You still okay? I sorry that uh, no! took longer than expected. <laughs> what have you found out? I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it then. I will. We can't waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. I like to be thorough. We should keep going. Now we have a kebab crane. Of course, it's the first thing I see. It's brightly colored. And it looks really nice. Are you nice. wearing silk lingerie, Snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. I'm also They're perverted. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Use this. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. To be just like snow. And a wad of cash. I've seen Wait. things like this before. That's not a wad of cash. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. I don't it's even some know kind what it is. of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? How did you know we that it was have black market? What? Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. You seem pretty nervous about this crane. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Oh. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. I see now. I can see clearly now the. Oh, there we go. There we go. Huh? 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 Yeah! Huh? Huh? Yeah! A deer. What does that mean? A female deer. Oh. Da, 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 da. Hair. That might be your hair, Miss Snow. Is that? It's a lot of your hair. I it's your I hair. I know. I feel so invaded. <laughs> I can't talk today. And a photograph of. Miss Snow. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. Well, that's pretty creepy. I, I would not notice it was missing. But I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. Rose? My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Like, what? Rose? Who did this, Big P? <laughs> She's a troll? <gasps> Are you kidding me? Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. What? She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. Oh my god. We have to go tell Holly. She's right. gonna kill me. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. No time for your racism, Ichabob. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. She's her own woman. You'd be woman. putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. Okay. Snow wants to come with me. I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? 
I understand yeah. your concern, Ichabod, but she's 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 a grown ass woman. I can't baby her, unfortunately, as much as I would love to. I don't want to lose her. But if you think about her, she's safer with me than out there. You know? Yeah, you know? Who are you? This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. Jack? You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... You didn't even finish that, Bigby. That's a waste of a huff and puff. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. Jack? This'll do. You don't want- I don't want another fight, Jack. No, drink it and fight. Nah. Unless you gotta put away the drinks right now. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. Shut it, Jack! It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? He's he, ideal to keep lose all the weight, gain all the muscle. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? How do you know about this? Oh, everyone knows. What? Tweedledee was just here. Ah, oh, son of a... You said it looked like Snow White. I... what? What the hell, Crane? Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative I duties. really did I, I Baby, didn't. come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button. Now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. I think Jack everybody... Got your nerve. Stop. What happened? <laughs> what happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Holly. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Listen. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Holly. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. Jack. Now's not the time to be insensitive. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess, Snow fucking White, is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? I'm sorry. If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> All right, everyone. Clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. I'm just... I'm doing my best. Holly, I'm sorry. Snow, I don't think it's best for you to approach her. After all, you're... Her sister was killed, Holly, maybe because of you. get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought 
You might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. It's quite lovely. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Making some progress. Snow White has that sensitive touch that I need in my life, and I'm just like the big bad guy trying to be soft, so we're getting somewhere. But every now and then, I hammer down the fists! I don't know that much about our life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just... I didn't want to watch it with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. Mm. Mm hmm Good to know. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Fees, huh? What kind of fees? Sounds like one of those old company store kinds of ploys. Designed to entrap people by keeping them in debt. That sounds terrible. We can probably learn more at the club. We've got okay. a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do? To no. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of, it, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or, I don't know, some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Well, of course, that should be fine. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? But I have to go to the Putnam and pie. Pet club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. <laughs> really? <laughs> Thanks. It just made everything easier. I love you! Take me back! <laughs> Here we go, another night in this shit town. Trying to make ends meet. Figuring out who killed who. <sighs> now I'm at the pudding and pie. I'm probably gonna see some titties. Tits. Ribbon. There's a ribbon. There's a ribbon on her neck. Everybody. I, I'm seeing clues. Oh. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty, but the club's closed. Not quite what I meant. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I like the way you talk. It's so slick and smooth. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. I'm lying! <laughs> no, I've heard. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> 
I really like your voice. Whatever voice actress you are, I love you. Your voice is like butter on my pecan. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Did you know Lily? She worked here. Oh, my lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. What the fuck did you just say to me? Oh, oh, these are these are definitely titties. <laughs> Fuck's sake. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense. Prince George! Okay. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? You're some... Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? Um. Tell you what, come back after midnight maybe. I can hook you up. N no, thank or, you. Uh, knowing you. She's probably not quite your style. Hey now, be You'd careful. You prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target oh. or one that will put up a fight? Um, I'm not here for that. Thing, yeah. Oh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips then. Yes. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. Me too. I'm very cliche. I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Yeah, yeah I'm okay. Look, I have I know a sense why you're of humor. Here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Yeah? Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In well, that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's sick. Ha! <laughs> That's quaint. Especially coming from you. Well... The, the 13th th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh. Black market, is it? How exciting. Mm. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. Hey now. I'm trying my best here. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this then? Get that out of my face. That's what I, I thought. I found it on Lily's body and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? What? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Cut. Anyway, now what to do with me? Hey, 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 hey. Don't make me break that. Go on, then. Am I gonna have to censor these titties? We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's what you wanna do, right? That's what you came here for, right? I'm what not gonna you? fight. Who hired her? <laughs> oh no, fuck! That's what you get for trying to punch me. I'm not trying to start a fight. No. Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it. Yeah. Bloody bastard fucking shit. Bop, bop. You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. You did it to yourself. Fuck's sake. Who are you? Fuck up, Hans. Oh! <laughs> it's Hans! <laughs> 
Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. He probably hey, likes it. That's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. <laughs> you haven't got the slightest clue about anything. I might not. How about you give me a clue? Hey, now! You shouldn't have messed with that. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Well, well. Oh, what's, this? what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I uh, wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking Wow, get you are it. very persistent. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Ooh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I know you won't forget that, but I need the fucking key. Maybe if you weren't so persistent. I only broke two things. Consider yourself Bloody lucky. Come on, man. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so he can be happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh, I wanted dear. Snow White. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. 207. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. Hey. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, you, baby. and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Go ahead. Go ahead, make my day, baby. Hi. Hello, business office. Hey. I'm here for stuff. Oh, at least it's empty. Ah, <gasps> Faith! It was... Lock's been busted open. Busted open. 
On both. Hey. Who can open? But there isn't even a lock. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith. I wonder if I was a uh, detective, I would take certain jobs personally. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. What? Is that why Faith died? Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Interesting. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. Who are you? You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. I knew it because of the flower. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. Ariel. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. That's okay, baby. We'll figure this out together. I need to know about one of Lily's uh, clients. Calling himself Mr. Smith, apparently. We can't talk about work. This what? is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. You know? People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? Is it the ribbon? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. I I These lips. Her ribbon. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Ah. Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Ah. Uh, okay. I don't have oh, 150. I, uh... Wait here for a second. I know she's gonna give me answers. I could I could read under the thing uh, between the lines. I just I need to figure things out a little better. But of course, Georgie's gonna be into it. Not two oh seven. This is the best I could do. You'll think of something. Open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Can I undo your ribbon? Can you talk after I undo your ribbon? Would that be possible? I mean, Georgie looks like a mess, but he's a businessman. He doesn't look like much of a murderer. He has an establishment. Usually people who have businesses and establishments are pretty stable in life and they want to maintain stable in their way or another. What? What? <laughs> and usually people who do that don't have the uh, unstable mind frame of feeling over emotional or anything like that unless it has anything to do with the threatening of their lifestyle so I don't really think Georgie ha has doing it this is this is a crime of passion not of vengeance or anything like that um, 
somebody's trying to get back at somebody and they want to be noticed. I'm trying to figure out who and what and where and why. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. How do you make money, Bigby? Because you gave all your money to Faith and now you broke gas. They should probably repair that. I have a lot of things in my possession right now. Yeah, this shit'll kill ya. Coca-Cola? Bella, <laughs> do you puff, huff and puffs his cigarette? That's okay, baby. We all gotta die some way or another. Let's go. Ding, 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 ding! Want it by the hour or for the whole night? <gasps> oh! Uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. I'm not gonna do it so, again. what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Well, she's a troll. meet a girl named Faith or just maybe hear that name I might have I don't know by the end of the night it's it's kind of a blur with all the names Tara Brandy Amber Heather sorry uh ever see Lily with someone here maybe on a job sometimes but nobody I've recognized I haven't worked here that long though how about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Oh, I see. You got Why yourself take out a loan from those two. It was from the crooked. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. How about trusting well, your man a little? If this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. What do you mean? I'm, s I'm sorry. I'm just... Thanks. I'm just Wait. Gonna... It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Yes, you do. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... It's not much of a report if I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I see. Well, here Can we are. Can everybody hear the moaning in the which background? Which one was it? 207, baby girl. Oh, I could hear stuff. Hold on, I, I need to listen.
<laughs> ah, I'm not a freak, I promise. I just... This one's awfully quiet. Whatever, let's just go to this, let's just, uh... I should have probably listened first. I'm an idiot. I'm a shitty detective, everybody. Nobody do what I do, alright? Okay, so, I've hit my mark. I'm gonna end this episode right here. If you like this, please subscribe. If you do or you don't, or you think I could do something better, leave a comment down below so I can make things better, okay? But until next time, everybody, I'll catch you on the next episode. Later! What the fuck?! <laughs> Yelling! Good! The shit! But which wire to cut? <gasps>